Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafts by the Bow and part two of my little box that has note cards inside. The last video I showed you how to make this acetate box into a, a little box bag and I took the idea from Julie Davison who'd made a similar box but she'd cut it across so she had two smaller half boxes. I wanted a larger box because I wanted to put note cards and envelopes inside and so I just took the side of the acetate box off. But this is our box and I'll show you now how I'm going to make the cards. And in each box I'm going to put four note cards and envelopes. And our note cards and envelopes come in packs of 20 and I think they're 8 75 before tax and shipping which is a really really good price. They have very thick card and uh, they're a beautiful white or you can get them in the very vanilla. But I've chosen white today and the note cards themselves are five inches by three and a half inches. And so I've cut DSP just a quarter of an inch smaller all the way around. And I've used the Share What You Love DSP, which, let me just take this little pack out, which is a double pack. This is the first time I've ever seen a double pack of paper. Um, and it is the most beautiful paper. It has all of these pearlized accents on. Beautiful, beautiful things. On this piece, I've actually used it to cut pieces out to use uh, as an embellishment as well. So don't be afraid to you know, do different things with your DSP. Look at these beautiful colors. And I love the backs on these as well. And it's a very thick DSP. It's not a thin paper. It's uh, almost like card, this DSP. Look at this, aren't they pretty? This is one of my favourites, this little spring, beautiful flowers. This is the one I chose to make my box bag with. And you can see the back of this paper that I've chosen, it's got the pearlized accents on. It's pearlized on one side and uh, the other side is plain, but uh, so, so pretty. And just pop that down and out of the way. So what I've done is I've chosen different pieces of the DSP and I've cut those down to four and three quarters by three and one quarter. And then all I've done is just, I've used my adhesive and I'm just going to attach these to the front. And at the moment, I've got a different piece of paper, a, a different piece of DSP on each of the cards. So. I've got this one, I've put a piece of this, which is actually the backing of this one. Um, I've got one with the little green leaves on and one with the dots on, because I wanted one that matched the outside of the bag. So I've already got those pre-prepared and we've got four there and I'm going to decorate all four with you. What I've also started to do is to put little scraps of paper on the backs of my envelopes, just to make it so that it's sort of mi mixy matchy. Um, these aren't any of these ones that I've cut yet. What I did was I looked through all my scrap pieces and some of these, they're just not big enough to do a back in with or um, you know to do a card front with, but they are plenty long enough to put on our envelopes and all I did, let me find an envelope that doesn't have um, anything on it so you can see what I did. Let me take one out of this. There we go. So all I did was I chose a piece that would cover just the envelope flap. I put adhesive just on here, put the paper on glue it down and then as I opened it I just cut with scissors all that way. I don't have the envelope framelets that Stampin' Up! used to do a long time ago and 
I'm not sure even if they fitted the note cards or just the ordinary envelopes, but it makes such a difference. If you have a piece that isn't quite wide enough, what I have been doing on some of them, it's a bit thicker than I want, but what I have been doing is just doing a strip across the top of the envelope so that it's not all of it, it's just a little bit, or I've put a tiny, tiny strip across the front here so that it matches as well. So any little piece of DSP you can save to do that with. Our DSP is expensive, it's beautiful, but I don't want to waste any. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. And a lot of my projects in the future, you'll probably see that I've started to put little scraps of DSP on the back. Some of my envelopes I do stamp on. Um, if it's sort of a, a flower that I'm using on the card, I'll stamp the same flower on the envelope. But I'm quite liking the DSP idea at the moment. Okay, so let's just pop these scraps down. And see how we're going to decorate these. Okay, so what I've done is I've got lots of little bits and pieces out. I've got one of the pearlized doilies. Let's just put those ones to one side and work on one at a time. I'm not sure how these are going to work out because I haven't pre-planned them and that's probably best. So I know that that fits really nicely on there. I've used the sentiments from the Love What You Do stamp set and to make sure that they were going to fit on my cards, I made myself like just a little template with a piece of card with a two inch circle and a two and a quarter inch circle. And then I just used that to see if the sentiment was going to fit on the inside. That one was a little bit, you know, it, it's, it's nice. There's just a little bit of space on it and just a little bit of space, but I wanted a bit bigger space for this one. So I used the two and a quarter one. And then I just got uh, the little leaf and stamped it in the edge here. For these ones, for the thank you and the love what you do, that seemed like too much card or too much paper there. So on those ones, I just got like some of my card scraps and I'm just stamping on there and then I'll trim it as I need it. Okay, so let's see. Oh, here's the one that I was saying I'd use the little leaf on. So I stamped It's a Beautiful Day, I cut it out with the punch and then I stamped in Tranquil Tide. It might have been better had I stamped off first because the Tranquil Tide looks really quite dark still on there. Okay, so just going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back of the doily and put it just at the edge here. And then I'm going to put this on here, but I think I might put a little piece of ribbon under it. So this, because it's, uh, it is fast fuse and fast fuse doesn't usually undo, but because there's only little tiny bits of it attached, it's quite easy to take the doilies off. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of uh, ribbon across first. Just cut the end here. I don't know quite how long I want it. I'm just going to make that a little bit more slanted. Okay, and I'm going to take a little bit of the tear and tape. I don't want it all to have tape across. I'm only going to put a little bit. Let's see if we can get this off. Yeah, there we go. There we are. And now I'm going to put my, a little bit more adhesive on my doily. Pop that back over. I might move it over just a tiny bit so you can see the ribbon at that side as well. Don't worry about that little piece of paper stuck under there because this is going to cover it up quite nicely. And I'm going to put this on dimensionals. 
And I've just got the little dimensionals out at the moment because that's what I used on the bag that I was making. So I haven't been and got the larger ones out, but the small ones are just fine. Let's pop that on there. Oh yeah, I like that little piece of ribbon. And then I'm just going to get the little artisan pearls because these are the same colours as the paper in this Share What You Love suite. Um, I'm just going to pop three on. I think I might just, let me see, I was going to use the yellow here. Okay, so I'm going to put one at the base of my leaf so that you can see it there. And I'm going to put one on the ribbon. And I think I'll just pop another one up here. Okay, so there we are. That's the first of our cards. You don't need too much decoration because the paper sort of speaks for itself and is quite a nice pattern. So you don't need too much. So there's the first one. Let's have a look what we're going to do next. Let's do the dotty one. I have cut out some pieces of white card with the daisy punch and another piece of the vellum that I used on the bag. And I've got two white pieces and a piece of vellum. And I'm just going to layer them up. Looks like I'll soon need some more glue dots out. So there's the white. And then here's the vellum. I'm just going to offset it a little bit so there's still a gap here. Another little glue dot. And then the last layer of white card. There we go. Let's fluff it up a little bit. And I'm going to pop this on here. And I need a little centre for this. And I've got some crushed curry little scraps. And let me just find where I put that. Where did I just put that? Oh, here it is. I told you I was having one of those days. I can't find anything. Okay, so I'm just going to use the little half inch circle to cut that out. Stick it on in that, on there. I've not glued the daisy down yet because I want to put a little sentiment as well. Isn't that daisy pretty with the vellum? I think it looks so nice, so elegant. Okay, I might put a little um, faceted gem on there. I don't know yet. But you remember I said I'd stamped one of the thank yous just on a piece of card. I want that just to go out here like this. So I'm going to flag the end, but I didn't know how long I needed it or actually which card I was putting it on. So I'm just going to flag these ends here. I'm just going to take a little bit off because it's a bit longer than I want there. And you could use your triple banner punch for this, but I haven't got mine out at the moment, so it's just as quick to cut a little piece. And then I'm not going to cut down the banner because the, the daisy is going to sit on it. I'm just going to leave it there. So I am going to glue this down and I'm going to put the daisy on a stamping dimensional. I like doing things like this where you don't quite know what you're going to make. You've just got lots of little bits and pieces and uh, not enough to make sort of a whole set of something. But nice for this kind of a thing where you're doing four or five little cards that match. Okay. So there we are. Oh, isn't that pretty? Now let me find a little... Uh, Plastic gems. I think I might use a gold one on this. And I don't know if you can see, but the texture of the faceted gems is just like the centre of a daisy. It's sort of just a little bit bobbly. Uh, these are just perfect for the daisies. Squash. 
squash that one on. So there we are. That's card number two made. Let's pop those ones back in. Okay, let's see what we've got left. Right, let's try this pink one next. Let's see what I've got over here. Um, I've got more of the doilies, but I don't want to use the doily on this because it takes up all of the flowers, even at that side. But I'm not. That's not my first choice to use. I have used the starburst punch to cut out a piece of the berry burst. This is our starburst punch. And what I think I might do. Ooh. Right, put it at this side. Let's see what else I've got. I've got some little bits and pieces left from Paper Pumpkin, I think it is. Or it could be one of the kits. So I've got those. Let's see what else I've got over here. Oh, I've got some circle pieces that I cut out from... Um, let me think what that was from. I think it's like the, over, uh, the circles that have got the scalloped edges and it cuts the piece out. Let me see, what does that look like on there? No, I don't like that. That's a bit too big. Oh, I like the smaller circle in it where it just leaves a gap around it, but I can't see too much of my flower there. But maybe I don't need to see too much of my flower. Hmm. I wonder if I can put the ribbon so that it looks like it's threaded. But I think I still might lose a bit too much of the pink flower. Oh, that would work though. Okay. It's still got a little bit of pink flower. So let me just taper these edges. going that way. I don't want it to be too long. And then I might just need to use a little bit of wet glue on this. Excuse me. So I'll just pop a little bit. little dots around it so I don't have too much. And then I'm going to put it just over to the left here a little bit. So you can still see pink around it. Okay, and then I'm going to pop my ribbon like this. I'm just going to make that a little bit of a, a steeper angle. And I'm going to put a little bit of tear and tape on the back. Let's see if we can peel that off. Put it that way. Okay. And then we'll put a circle in there like that. But let's try and see if I can cut out that circle to this size. I think this is a two inch, yep, yeah, it's a two inch one. Not sure if this fits in a two inch one. Oh, yes it does. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna put dimensionals on this. I'm just going to put them near the ribbon so that I know I've, I'm not sticking it onto the ribbon. I've just got it on the paper. What you could do if you wanted is to use one of the little flowers. Um, let me show you. One of these little flowers and pop on there and colour it in. Tap 
match that there. I'm only going to use some of the pearls on here. I don't want too much other colour. I'm going to use the, the little pinky colour ones. one see where we can put this I don't like I don't like them together there oh I might like them underneath there take this one off I'm gonna take this one off as well just carefully with the edge of my piercing tool there I like that better with them just in a row there so there we are that's our card number three let's move these and find card number four now I do have another one of these little daisies cut out but I have it in a different color I have them um, I've got the vellum here and I've got the pink that goes with this uh, just see it's it is the same color pink yeah it's sort of peachy color it's not really pink it's just that peachy that peachy pink so I'm going to build this one up sorry I know I'm dithering a little bit it's because I'm just sort of creating things on the fly And I keep looking around just to check that what I've chosen is what I actually want. Whereas normally when I do a video, I've got everything set and ready to go. But today you can see how I sort of plan things and how I look to see if they're the bits that I want. It's just a bit different. Okay, now I'm going to find a little dimensional. If these cards are to go in the mail, Sometimes you don't want to put too many dimensionals on because they can be a little bit bulky and then you have to pay extra postage. So just be aware that uh, if you put too much on in the way of embellishments, it can make the envelope just a little bit too fat to fit through the envelope guide that they have at the post office. Here I've got a little bit of the Grapefruit Grove. I'm going to stick that one on. Ooh, that makes that pop, doesn't it? And then where are those little pieces I had left over from the kit? Okay, so I've got one that says a little note. Yeah, and I think I'm just going to put that down there. And again, I'm going to put that on with dimensionals. Sorry if this video is getting a little bit long. Good job I split it into two and made the box bag in the first one. And stick that there. And then I'm going to get one of those little faceted gems in the silver. Let's see. Might not even need it, you know. It's pretty without it. Oh, what the heck, let's stick it on. There we are. Okay, so let's move some of these other bits out of the way. And there you are. There's the four that I've made ready for this little bag. So what I would do is just stack them up, find the envelopes, which I would have decorated by now if I was giving it to somebody, pop them inside. You see, if you've got a lot of dimensionals and things on, you don't want many more than four to go in the bag. But there we are. So there's the little bag with our matching notelets in. You could make all four notelets the same. That would be pretty as well. Um, they could all have just a, a very generic greeting, saying wishing you well or have a nice day, or like the one said, a little note. And uh, I think that'll make a great little gift. So there we are. 
thank you for watching the second part of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would love a share um, or a subscribe. And uh, keep watching, ready for my next videos. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye.